I prefer long down regulation protocol for adenomyosis. Yeah. Before the IVF is by giving the depot doses of, uh, uh, you know, the depot glupride or depot prostap injections that we use, which basically calms down the whole reproductive organs. Uh, and in that process, it calms down the adenomyosis on the functional aspect also. So everything has one physical aspect of just the mere presence and then the functional aspect, the biochemical aspect. So at least that aspect is uh, taken care of by giving this depot injection, which is given once a month, sometimes one or two or up to three months before the actual IVF is done this injection will calm down the whole reproductive system and uh, it improves the outcome in a uh, rightly selected group of women. In cases of adenomyosis, I try to give the injection prostap uh, before at least once uh, before the IVF and also before the frozen embryo transfer if we have the frozen embryos for this patient. So this overall anti-inflammatory effect of this injection um, might help. Uh, although it is not in the protocol for many units because the evidence is not enough yet. But these are the two methods, medical and the surgical for adenomyosis. But it can be a massive challenge for the doctor as well as the patient because if at all the adenomyosis is pretty significant and the previous implantations have failed, then removing the adenomyosis in safe hands might help. But this is an important and careful decision after proper discussion with the discussion of the side effects or the complications involved. Uh, because it, it, we are actually taking out the adenomyosis and re the uterus, so it needs time to heal back. And it can be more traumatic in untrained hands because it doesn't have a clear capsule. So the expertise of the surgeon becomes very crucial.